So for today, we have some nice juicy exhaust goodness happening. Uh, ripped the exhaust out of the Studebaker and I'm going to try to start fitting up some exhaust headers and take manifolds off. Got my two air cleaners ready to go with my two carburetors. Um, so we're going to fit some stuff up in here today. So here we are. I got all of the little flanges for the intake and exhaust manifolds all nice and ground down and cleaned up. All the carbon and gunk knocked off of them. Uh, so what's nice is this is one inch pipe. Most of the holes they do just fit right in. So that'll make it very nice for mocking this up. However, there's two exhaust ports that are a little bit bigger than one inch. So I have an extra two one and a half inch bends to see if I can make that work better. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. So here's what I just got finished working on. Um, doesn't look like much, but this is uh, one of the most important pieces for my exhaust manifold. Uh, this is like the main collector sort of thing. It starts out at one inch, and it goes to two inch. Um, very simply, I cut it straight down the middle and took a uh, wedge cut out of it. Um, so basically, you just take half of whatever material is here because I'm going from two inch to one inch um, and then I put it in the vise and literally squeezed it a couple hundred times it took a while but it uh, turned out looking pretty good uh, the roundness at the end isn't exactly perfect but good enough for me so this is one of the main pieces that I'm going to have that I had to get done for uh, this exhaust manifold so Let's move on to something else. So what I'm going to do next is a nice classic example of using a hammer and a dolly. Um, I don't have professional body working equipment by any means, but uh, for what I think I'm going to do, it should be okay. So I have my intake manifold plenum here, and my goal is I have three intake runners that are going to go into the engine. Um, so in the end here, I'm going to have a tube. It mounts up to it like so, right? Like a 90 degree angle. The only problem is, up at the top here, what am I going to do there? So, that's where this dildo looking thing comes in. I'm going to make a couple relief cuts in the top of this and put this over top of it like this for a guide as I use the hammer to smash the end of this tube down onto this curve so it'll make a nice 90 degree bend maybe so we'll see
So, this is where I'm at right now. Uh, I'm actually kind of proud of this. This is turning out a lot nicer than I thought it was going to originally. So, um, got my two first intake runners put on to the main plenum. Um, got my rounded over edges. And I have these little uh, 45 degree corners installed. Um, I have to put a little patch plate on each side yet, but it's uh, looking pretty good. So uh, I think next I'm going to put the last intake runner on and go from there. So, it's time to burn some midnight oil. I got, uh, got the spotlight up, stole one of mom's lamps from inside the house. She will be pissed. But I'm gonna weld up the intake manifold tonight. Uh, got it all clamped down, nice and flat. I stole this nice piece of stainless steel from work. Uh, about a half inch thick, nice and long, and it'll help, uh, wow, that sounded really sexual. <laughs> uh, this will help dissipate heat, and it'll also help keep the flanges uh, nice and parallel. So, let's get something done. So, here is my finished creation. It didn't turn out too bad. In fact, it might even be better than expected. Um, I'm going to take this into work tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to hop on the milling machine and I'm going to mill these two uh, flanges up here flat. I'm not going to machine these because they're one, cast iron, and two, they were already machined because they were already put on the car. So, um, I think these should be okay yet. Um, but I am worried about the carburetors not sealing up good. So, with that being said, this is about all I'm going to get done for tonight. So, uh, but yeah, not too shabby. So, a special little surprise came in the mail today. So, if you guys remember, these two fellows right here, the stock air cleaners, they are too big for it to fit two of them at one time. So I had to buy more air cleaners. Let's see what we got. Careful with the pack of peanuts. Lose one, lose them all. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> Look how good it looks. It's so shiny. Ooh, dual carb goodness. So I still have to, I'm going to take this into work tomorrow and I'm going to machine these bottom flanges. Um, I didn't show it on camera, but frickin' these outside tubes warped real bad. Even though I had it all clamped up and stuff on that big plate, I had to cut it here and cut it here and get it all lined up again. Couldn't believe it. But uh, real quick, I'm going to see if this monstrosity actually fits inside the engine bay now. It should, but let's find out. Yeah, look at that. 
Man, I, there, I've spent so much work on this stupid intake manifold. Um, but you know what? Results like this make it really worth it. I just think it looks so cool. So I have just enough clearance between this blower motor and this air cleaner. Um, also, it's kind of just flopping in the breeze right now, so it can be picked up a little bit more. So it's like a solid half inch. It'll be good. So uh, the exhaust still isn't welded yet. It's still uh, another project for another day. So I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to mock it up in the car since I had everything, and I'm super excited now. Um, the other thing too is this thing weighs precisely a fucking lot, so I'm going to have to brace it somehow because I used way too thin uh, tubing and material, whatever you want to call, uh, for this. No, in hindsight, I should have used thicker material. That's what I'm trying to say. Words can't just. No, not today. Um, yeah, that's enough for tonight. So, ooh, look how smooth. So I took my intake manifold to work on Friday. That's yesterday, and I hit it real quick with the fly cutter, and it turned out pretty good. I it just missed the top end of both of these, so this must have either been tilted a little bit or warped a little bit down. Um, but that's okay. I just need the ceiling surface around here to be clean and nice and true, and it is. So, uh, that's about all I need from this guy. So, now I'm going to finish up the exhaust. Our waitress, I mean, she was, well, she's, you recording. Yeah. Oh. You don't, you sound, do you? <laughs> it don't matter. I, I can record over it. Like, well. As far as sound goes. <laughs>